<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, back here with the same stack of games I did with the previous video. And I'm actually just doing these ones back to back because if you have not seen the previous video, I encourage you to check that one out. It is longer, but I, I think it's a fun ride together that we can take. In that video, I went through this stack of games and a few other digital ones that I do not have here, unfortunately, you know, because they're digital. Uh, but I went through this stack of games and showed you all all of the games that I end up finishing this year in 2018. And that's a bit of a challenge that I like to go through personally. Uh, I just like to challenge myself, barely challenge I guess you can say, but I like to challenge myself to beat at least one game every month, every year. And I've been doing that for the past few years and I've been very successful with it. So the past three years in a row, I have beat a game, at least a game every single month. But this is something I do on the channel as well, where at the end of the year, I like to do it so my last video is my game of the year for 2018, or I guess the current year at that point in time. This year I'm going to do things a little bit differently, there's going to be one more video at the end of the year after this, so this one's coming out a little bit early. Come back on the 31st of December and there will be a, ga a, a video. Not necessarily game related, but there's going to be another one, so you're getting this one a little bit early. But you're going to find out my game of the year for 2018. So my stipulation is it has to be a game that I played through this year. It has to be a game that came out this year. So yeah, those, those are my stipulations. So it's a little bit frustrating because like, let's say if my favorite game this year that I played through is Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation, that's not my 2018 game of the year because that game came out in 1998. So out of all of these games that I played through, which one was my game of the year for 2018? Well, let's go ahead and you know what, Lily? You can have this stack of games. There you go. There, and, and we'll just sprinkle some on you. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> My favorite game of this year was God of War. This is my game of the year for 2018. And I have to tell you all, <laughs> Now I can talk openly about it, all right? So there might be some spoilers on here, just a heads up. If you don't want any sort of God of War spoilers, I'll keep them to a minimum, but if you don't want any, uh, you might want to click off this video. But this is my game of the year, and I can tell you all, the first hour I played through this game, I'm just like, holy shit, this game is perfect. This game checks the box on every single thing I am liking in a video game. I love it. The game played so well. I loved the control scheme. The performance was great. The... <laughs> just everything on it. Every single thing was on point. The character development, the attitudes of them, the graphics on there. Just I was playing this on PS4 Pro. Just, just it looked perfect. I played through this um, on cinematic mode, which means it plays the game at 4K native resolution. 30 frames a second, and it just looked absolutely astounding. God, I loved it. The shit was emotional as well, too. I got pretty emotional at some parts. I got emotional when I saw the initial E3 reveal of this. I freaked out about that when this was shown at E3, and to me it looked perfect then, but finally playing through it was absolutely a surreal experience, just like that stack of games dropping on Lily and her moving around. I cannot recommend this game enough, you all. If you are, as I said in my previous video, if you own a PS4 and you haven't touched this game, you are truly doing yourself a disservice, and I recommend playing through it. Um, even just, I, I had mentioned the attitudes, because you, this is essentially Dad of War. What happens in this is at the beginning of the game, it's revealed that, you know, you're Kratos, of course, your wife has passed away, your goal in the game is to take your wife's ashes to the highest mountain and let them go there, and you have a son. And you've never really made an effort to interact with your son at an emotional level for an extended period of time. So you kind of go through those awkward ordeals and all that stuff. And then there's just there's so many journeys, so many things that happen throughout so many amazing characters that you meet. And I was I was laughing, I was getting emotional, I was feeling some things when I was playing this game. My goodness, this is a perfect I think honestly the only the only complaint, the only complaint I have about this game. I guess two, technically. Two. Two. But they're not even that big. One of them, it's a very first world problem. I felt like 
the gear and crafting and leveling system on this game was way too deep for a game such as this. I understand it, I respect it, but I just felt like for this game, it was a little too deep. The other thing I have is, even though I said the performance was great, uh, there's two performance modes you can pick if you're playing through this on PS4 Pro. You can pick the cinematic mode, which means, again, you're going to play this at 4K native resolution, 30 frames a second, or you can play in a gameplay oriented mode, uh, which means that you'll play at a uncapped frame rate, but the the system renders at a native 1080p. Now, it would have been lovely if the game could play at 1080p native, or even just bring the resolution down a little bit. It would have been nice if I could have played this game at 60 frames a second locked, but unfortunately that wasn't possible with it. So I played it with the other mode, like the unlocked frame rate mode for five or 10 minutes and I just wasn't feeling it. So I actually downgraded to get that 30 frames a second, just locked frame rate, but 4K just looked immensely beautiful. And this is, I had said in the previous video, but this is the first like beginning to end 4K gaming experience that I, I got to have. And it was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. Again, to me, this, this is one of those rare games that to me, this is a perfect game. And even those two things I mentioned are just just little itty bitty nitpicks that so many people are not gonna care about. So many people won't care about them. So I don't even feel comfortable saying, oh yeah, it's perfect, but these things like, no, those are just two things that I would have liked to see, but I also understand if they're not possible or if they're not there, where don't dumb down the leveling system. And sure, 1080p is still going to look fine. And a lot of people won't care about the frame rate, but my God, just this game is ugh, perfect. Perfect. There's so many other games I got to play a little bit of as well too. I've played a little bit of Marvel Spider-Man, did not finish it. I've played a bit of Red Dead Redemption 2, did not finish that yet. Um, at this point, I'm most likely playing Smash Bros. But again, haven't finished at this point because it wasn't in the previous video. So I don't have too much else to say on here. I'm gonna just wrap it up. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you very much for making it to the end. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. And let me know what your game of the year for 2018 was. Let me know of some of your favorite games or just your favorite game. And maybe even tell me why. I've told you all why, now it's your turn, tell me why. And again, if you have a PS4, God of War, play this game. It's so good. It's so good.